English, English and English. There are lakhs and crores of students who want to speak good English. Who want to speak fluent English. That's what I am talking. I am also speaking fluent English. I am also talking about the proficiency, the fluency and what is English, how to speak English and uh, why to speak English. And how to speak English. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the trending question and one of the complication, one of the biggest confusion that how to speak English. How to speak English. And so we are going to talk in English about the importance of English and how to Speak English. Let's exactly discuss about there are many students who actually take the help of the rapid X general English books and who just spend a lot of money in just books, who spend a lot of money in coaching classes, who just spend a lot of money in online classes, but after having one year, two years, three years programs, they can't speak English. And today we have brought good techniques and fundamental techniques and the basic techniques that how to is learn English sorry how to learn English how, how to? to learn English that's what yeah. I just want to ask you that what is what is English English is a global language by which we can communicate it is a medium of communication with the help of which we can express our feeling uh, we can change our uh, we can share our emotions that's all okay so what is English actually uh, this is the language by this language we can communicate other by this language we can understand what uh, other person wants to talk us okay yeah this is the language and this is a global and lingua franca language mm -hmm. by this language we can communicate and we can understand opposite person and that's why we all should speak English and understand English. We should all we all should learn English, English. and speak English. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss about actually you know this is a big confusion a big question there are many people who are orthodox and conservative that they always raise a question why to learn English. Mm -hmm. Why to learn English? We should learn English to gain more and more knowledge, to gain more and more confidence and to teach others also. Because it is a competitive world in which we need, need to learn English. That's okay. why. Why to learn English? People want to learn English just because they want to talk others and they want to go foreign country. Without this, uh, without this language, they can't survive in foreign, uh, foreign country. If they learn and they will, uh, they will communicate others, they can ha handle others. Okay, because so this is, the global language. this is the global language and exactly we all should learn English because it is one of the most spoken language and it is very important. That's why it becomes a great reason to learn English, right? Okay, let's discuss about actually there is a big confusion and a big problem and a big challenge for those students who live in rural areas, mm -hmm. who live in backward areas, village areas. They neither they don't have uh, good teachers mm -hmm. nor they have good books to mm -hmm. speak English nor no any environment exactly mm -hmm. how can they speak effectively they can take the help of social media they can learn by YouTube because YouTube is uh, available to all of them mm -hmm. they can interact with their friends they can learn with the help of social media also mm -hmm. so and the most important thing is that they need to do lots of practice they need to speak a lot okay yeah if they speak broken English that is okay but they need to speak okay what do you want to say about this yeah they should know the what is the routine of the words if they know the routine daily basis like we are doing this is clock this is ball this is this that those first we should learn the basic words that we can improve our fluency and we improve our english language okay with the help of this words. so ladies and gentlemen if you are in a village or in a rural area and backward area where you are not able to find a great trainer and a teacher mm -hmm. you must practice yourself you must work upon the basic the broken english mm -hmm. and you must continuously talk and speak and practice okay just but the question is that you know this is a big complication and a confusion mm -hmm. students are really facing so many difficulties mm -hmm. to learn words and vocabs mm -hmm. What about that exactly? Okay, they face very much difficulties in learning vocabs because they are afraid of making mistakes. They always afraid that what will happen if I speak anything wrong. Hmm. So first of all, they need to speak whatever they speak. They need to speak hmm. and I am talking about yes. how to learn vocabs. Yes, they can learn vocabs by reading newspaper, by reading the books and by interaction with others. Hmm. If we communicate with others, then we feel that yes, we have lack of words. For that, we can learn lots of words. We can use social media as well. We can use internet as mm -hmm. well. Okay. So, I also want to ask to you, like, you know, how to learn words and vocabs. 
have some more discussion if we do the discussion definitely we will learn many more thing hmm. by discussion hmm. and we can keep for a long time that what what we have uh, what we heard in the hmm. discussion hmm. so we should talk other and we should communicate in english that hmm. we can improve ourselves okay that's exactly very important that we should communicate discuss and talk with others so that we can hear and listen the words and with that those words will just be stored in our mind but the most important to learn the words start working upon the basic words about the daily routine words daily useful words and after that you work upon the familiar words like you know for example if i talk about sleep matlab sona slumber matlab need sleep like a log matlab ghoda bech kar sona aur broken sleep matlab kachi need aur snore matlab karate lena aur sound sleep matlab aaram se sona aur siesta matlab dopahar ki need dopahar ka raat acha dopahar ka aaram that's what dopahar ka raat i thought okay that's fine exactly <laughs> so exactly we can just you know take the help of grouping words familiar words root words and this strategy will really help us fantastically exactly yes. right so let's discuss some more things about you know how to be more confident in english okay yes how to be more confident in english that you know when we speak everybody gets attracted okay we can use accent we can use a good body language we should have knowledge of what to speak and how to speak okay that's yes. great i what do you want about this oh uh, we should uh, add the some like uh, interesting thing na in our uh, speaking hmm. and uh, we, uh, proper body language eye contact fluctuation modulation all the thing we will be use then by this thing people will attract okay yes that's what we need to understand like if you want to speak and if you want to hypnotize our audience and the people and well wishers with the help of our english language we can take the help of great fluency and communication and body language and tonality and accentuation exactly it's very important we should always have a unique style and unique way of speaking whenever we are delivering lecture speeches presentations and we are doing gd debate we should have different points iq level presence of mind and different opinion exactly right so in that case our english becomes very tremendous yes. and interesting let's discuss some more things mm -hmm. about exactly english speaking mm -hmm. because it's a great question mm -hmm. first of all how should a person practice english a person can practice english with interaction with their friends mm -hmm. with their families with their teachers and with the, with their batchmates mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. by interaction they will learn more english okay so by interaction they will learn more english yes. what about you like how can a person practice english after joining and attending the classes make the environment at home in english mm -hmm. if you like talk your neighbor your parents and your friend hey if a person belongs to a village area how can he talk in english if he talks to a brother bhai do you understand english? is that a brat by will say angrez ban rahe they should do activities <laughs> yes they should do activities how can they, they do activities if all the people will say angrez ban rahe something like that if we are walking then we should walk in english if we are listening we should listen in english how can i walk in no, english wait if we are walking <laughs> then yes. we should use we some words that yes i am walking okay. there is a guy hmm. she is a girl hmm. and they are selling momos okay. like okay it yes. means that we should exactly convert and translate all the basic sentences yes. into english first what do you want basic. first of all learn basics yes. first of all learn basic then advance right yes, yes, first yes. of all foundation then first floor yeah. what about you yes uh, yes yeah, same thing uh, first we if you want to become a good speaker we, there is a need make the sentences converted in, uh, into the english convert into english yes. okay so and hmm. there are many activities like mirror activity some basic thing that you can uh, that you can uh, practice on that uh, topics okay that's yes. really exciting i just want to ask you both of you right you know how did you practice english that you are speaking effective and fluent english when i was in class here that hmm. time i learned english hmm. and that time i did nothing hmm. i always spoke broken english hmm. Hmm. and my teachers always appreciated me because i spoke hmm. whatever the situation is you need to speak english exactly any type of hmm. english you hmm. need to speak it hmm. that's what and by practice you will gain more confidence and knowledge if you want to speak you have to you speak ha you yes. have to speak whether it is and oh, yes english. exactly yes yes i am also a student part of this uh, hmm. happiness institute hmm. when i came when i joined this institute i also don't know how to speak didn't know that yeah, time i also didn't know how to speak on uh, how to communicate other but now i am the trainer of this institute just because my hard work 
okay. just because I was focused so much at hmm. that time while learning. So how did you just practice exactly that you are uh, able to speak English yeah, this time? Yeah, practice whatever you told me, I follow that thing. Hmm. And if any new student came, I hmm. just try to uh, teach them. Okay. Yes. So if any new student used to come, you try to teach him or her, hmm. and it was a kind of interaction. Yes. Professional interaction. It yes. was. That's fine. But uh, so she's saying that hmm. you know when somebody is there that if we just if he or she needs our help we mm. should help him or her mm. by helping can we improve our english yes of course we of can course. help because we are sharing our knowledge to that person and we are gaining our knowledge by that okay yes. that's what so how much uh, satisfaction do you show to this exactly example that we should help others to progress to develop them and by that we can also develop yeah. ourselves yes we can develop ourselves okay. if we tell then uh, they will also know and we will uh, we will uh, like know the Two times, three times, four times. Okay, so we can revised. repeat that, ah, revise. Revise. Ah, revise. Okay. We can also have a fluency by this. Achha, fluency by this. Yeah. Okay. The now I am going to talk about one of the most important thing. That's about confidence, confidence right? Yes. Hesitation, yeah. exactly. <laughs> opposite of hesitation. That's confidence. Confidence opposite. What is hesitation? So all the people are facing hesitation and mm. they want to just remove it, right? Yes. I want to ask both of you, like, how to remove hesitation? People face hesitation because they don't know English. They don't know English, but there are many people like a grammar teacher yeah. from a village. I have interacted many mm. grammar teachers that they know complete English, but they can't speak. They feel hesitation. Mm. They feel hesitation because they are not in their comfort zone. Okay. So they need to overcome from that comfort zone. Mm. They need to go in public where there are lots of strange people mm. Mm. and they can communicate with them. Okay. So it means they need to just, you know, give up that comfort zone. Yeah. Leave that comfort just zone. Remove that comfort zone. Uh, remove, remove your bed. Okay. Remove yeah. your bed and just yes. a comfort zone yes. how can a person remove hesitation exactly i want to know uh, be the extrovert be the extrovert yes. okay and uh, talk more hmm. communicate more hmm. the by communication you will improve hmm. your hmm. uh, confident and as well as your english fluency hmm. hmm. So we should interact to the audience. But just let me ask you one thing. For example, as we know that uh, all the girls who कहते हैं ना जहाँ लड़कियाँ बैठती हैं वहाँ जो है कि वो बातें करती हैं और दूसरों की बातें करती हैं. But वही लड़कियाँ जब stage पर आती हैं तो hesitation feel करती हैं. तो you are saying that communication से हमारी English बहुत ज़्यादा develop हो जाती है. Just because we are not habitual of English, that's why we are facing problem. Hmm. If you like, uh, if you become the habitual of English, definitely we will speak. We should hmm. have an interest in that language. Okay. If anything is interested hmm. and if we take anything enough. Funny way, then hmm. we will understand it more, and we will learn. So should we be more focused, more hardworking for English language, yes, or we should be more casual for learning yes. English? More casual, more funny, more, more stylish. Funny, more yes. yes, nobody taught me Hindi, but we are speaking. Just hmm. because we are not speaking, our experience is speaking. Exactly. Yes. It is our innate capacity yeah. which we derive from the environment. From the environment, yeah. and that's why because we are casual, right? Yes. We were not so much dedicated towards yes. it. So don't you think that dedication is also very important part? Dedication is too much important. Too Without much dedication, important. how can we learn? But if I become very serious, doing the translation, हाँ एक बहुत बड़ा सवाल है. There are many students hmm. who are really habitual of translating. The hmm. कहाँ लगेगा? The कहाँ लगेगा? People, person, Sheila, Sheila की जवानी, something not, like that. No. So what is that? It is not a good way to learn English. Then they will become a gadu tota. अरट्टू तो होता तो बट वो अगर इफ दे डोंट डू दिस तो उनको लगता है कि कुछ उनको बेवकूफ बनाया जा रहा है अगर उनके साथ ऐसा ना किया जाए बिकॉज दे हैव बीन हैबिचुअल ऑफ इट मोर इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट इज योर टंग द वे यू स्पीक एंड हाउ यू स्पीक मोर फोकस यू नीड टू डू ऑन योर स्पीकिंग ओके What what is what is say about that those people those students who are really very habitual of the the like this, something like that. We should not serious on that because mm. English is a very funny language. Mm. We should take it funny way. Mm. Mm. Uh, if you take funny way, definitely we will improve. Exactly. Yes. Okay. But people are yeah, what jata hai, what khata hai, pita, what is this? But these are basic things like they this should know. This is basic, but mm. why they are taking serious? Okay. It's common. It's, it's casual. Common. And it's it's casual. Also. Yes. It's easy also. Yeah. So they should not be very serious, yes. right? So it means when you were learning, you were not very serious, oh, right? I never, I never taken serious. I was very serious. interesting that time. I was too much of interesting that time. You were interesting or you were interested? You, I was interested that time. Oh, you were interested that time. Yeah. What in English? Yes. Or in yourself? 
in english because i am learning something new that Not, yes. that time okay. i was thinking that i was learning something new okay. so it will help me in future also so that's what that is the biggest point exactly you are talking about yes. that that was exactly interest and interest leaded you to a great uh, exactly a fat and uh, yes. right now you are speaking yes. effective english whatever you do you should have interest in okay this. now the last thing i want to ask you like you know in four to five sentences you both of you are going mm -hmm. to tell that excuse me what how should we practice like for example okay hmm. i'm standing in front of mirror hmm. right uh, there is a mirror in front of me and i'm going to practice my english hmm. how should i start if i'm a basic student hmm. there is a mirror in front of you hmm. now you're going to practice english first of all i will share my daily uh, routine daily, daily routine with myself or oh, share it yeah okay hmm. so first of all when i woke up in the morning i was in a great tension because of hmm. my father because he is not he was not well hmm. so i started my day uh, by thinking that he will get uh, get to leave soon hmm. then i came to the office and i did uh, the work then i diverted my mind hmm. then i met sir i met two students also then i diverted my mind after that dhup offered me chocolate which hmm. made my day because okay. it was my favorite chocolate oh ho ho yes. that's so interesting I, so i was too happy you are too happy that's yeah. interesting you got the chocolate yes. okay so she spoke uh, about her routine that's what she did today and now the mirror is in front of you uh, and yes, how will yesterday, you practice? yesterday i gave my student uh, like uh, one tongue twister uh, hmm. sentence like hmm. a dog choose shoes which shoes does he choose this one once more a dog choose shoes which choose uh, which shoes does he choose okay once more a dog Choose shoes. Which shoes? Which shoes does he choose? Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Ice cream. You ask him. We all ask him for ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Some more sentences. And some. Uh, elo dilo jilo elo. Okay. Pink lorry elo lorry. So these are tongue twisting, yeah. right? So they can also twist their tongue with yeah. the help of these sentences. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We really discussed uh, in a very casual and a funny way about English language. What is English? Why to speak English and how to learn English? We shared many of our experiences that you can practice at home and you can also practice with your colleagues and friends and you can improve your English language. And that English language, so that practice will eliminate your uh, you know hesitation and that will nominate your confidence and of course if you're facing it the problem then we are here with happiness institute you can be the student and trainee of happiness institute thank you very much have a great day everybody ladies and gentlemen